Miss Transformers 96 here with another very review, this time of the Hot Toys The Dark Knight Rises Bane 1 and 6 scale figure, so here you go. So um, so this figure was, uh, I purchased it from Toy Anxiety, a fantastic toy store, great for all your 1 and 6 scale needs if you want to buy full figures. If you want to buy a part of a figure, they part figures out, definitely go check them out, uh, toyanxiety.com, the link will be in the description if you're ever in AZ, definitely go check them out, and uh, they're just great, so yeah. So now, uh, let's get this guy out of the package and to see how he is. Of course, the packaging is pretty nice. I do like the front. Dark Knight Rises, you get the nice bane inside there. It's in a shoebox-like package, which I'm not a huge fan of. It works, but I prefer, uh, you know, the, like, window boxes where you take it out from the top instead of just the whole front coming off. But it still works and it does look nice. So now, uh, let's get him out of the package. Bane comes with six hands, and they're both the same on each side, three for each side as well. You get two fists, two open hands, two relaxed palms, or uh, two palms that can be holding the uh, the Batman cowl. Um, they're all very nice, all very well detailed. Not a whole lot of hands, but he has all the hands that you need. I can't think of another one that I could have asked for, um, but I would have liked some more accessories, and then I would have liked some more hands to go with those accessories. But for the accessories that he has, he comes with a great amount of them, a great amount of hands. I see no problem. I prefer to keep them with the open hands. I think that they just look awesome, even in just a regular standing pose. I was, I, you know, I was planning on just having them standing in my shelf, just using the relaxed palms. But I put in the open hands just to test it out, and wow, it looks so much better. So I definitely uh, prefer using the open palms, but they're all very nice. So he also comes with, of course, like the rusty base. Uh, this is really wonderful. They could have easily just put him in with a regular Hot Toys base, which is nice. They all look good, but the stylized bases and the personalized bases look the best. I absolutely love this. This is, of course, taken from the scene, uh, Batman and Bane's first meeting, as well as battle, uh, where they, you know, battle on the, the rusty kind of uh, stairway, and, uh, you know, Batman's standing on the top and kind of yells, and Bane's walking up the stairs. This is the one step in the you get to the top. Absolutely love it. You, I love the uh, the design of the uh, the bat signal with all the rust and the raindrops. I absolutely love the raindrops on this thing. Unfortunately, the raindrops on the base as well as the cowl can only be seen in uh, some really bright light, unfortunately. So if you just have it on a shelf or something, unless you have a big light on it, you probably won't see the raindrops, which is a shame because it's such a cool detail and it's it's done so well, but it's just in that certain amount of light that you see it. And even just on the actual uh, the caging, you, you've got raindrops. Well done. A lot of detail and time has been taken into the space. The only thing is, it does feel like a little wobbly. Like it's not 100% on, you know, either side. Uh, which is a shame. It's not a big problem though, and you really don't feel it. Just from the bottom, as you can see, this is where the, uh, the uh, uh, cradle attaches into, and of course it does come with the cradle. Cradle is exactly just a standard cradle from uh, Hot Toys, nothing changed there, but absolutely love the base. You do get this like DX style Bane uh, a little logo. I still haven't even taken off the piece of plastic, but overall extremely well done. The wonderful job on the base, have uh, really no complaints. So, of course, you get the broken Batman cowl. Absolutely love this, as you can see. Well detailed. It's like you get a little Batman mask, and the raindrops all over it are just beautiful. They absolutely look really real. I mean, this thing looks like uh, you just put it out in some mini rain. So absolutely wonderful. They did a great job. It's sculpted and like broken just in the right places. Absolutely beautiful. No complaints on this thing, other than it is hard to see the uh, raindrops, just like with the base. It's hard to see the raindrops unless you have it in the right light, which, you know, is a bummer because I'd really love just to always be able to see those raindrops and you really don't get to see them all the time, but it is, a wonderful accessory, absolutely love it. Great if you want him just to hold it or just put him at his base or just to put it on the floor, you know, on the shelf. I mean, it looks so good. I absolutely love this accessory. So, now to go over the figure, first of all, let's just go over the face sculpt. Overall, it's extremely well done. Of course, you do have the mask, but the eyes and the actual skin texture are really well done. Love the eyes, the glossy look they put in them. Very cool. The actor has to do a lot of expression with those eyes, and he really does. Of course, you see the veins in the head. Really nicely done. The only thing that I will say is, just like right here, 
the um in between like the actual mask and then the face there's just this like a little glaze I guess I don't know I don't know if it's just a little underpainted or just like a little white part I don't know but it is a big shame it's very hard to see but it is still you know you could notice it. I noticed it and overall I really don't like that but just looking at this face sculpt really incredible even the way that they have like the skin kind of like bulging out the middle right there that is really wonderful really uh, accurate and everything absolutely love it the actual mask is extremely cool. I mean, there are people that are, you know, slightly complaining that the mask isn't removable. I have no problem with that uh, because the only time that we saw his face other than with the mask on was in a flashback scene for two seconds in a totally different costume. So I don't mind it one bit, not to mention if they had it removable, when you put it back on, it just wouldn't fit as perfect. And it needs to be perfect because nobody's going to display him without the mask. So I really, you know, I have no problem with that whatsoever. The only thing that I would have liked is like this uh, this tube to be able to pop out from the bottom and you have it like tilted up or something be it, like in the movie when you know Batman knocks it out of place and then he's fumbling to get it back together would make for some cool poses and uh, neat little uh, kind of gimmick that he has but unfortunately he doesn't uh, not a big problem but I think that I think that this guy is just a little un under impressive uh, because of the amount of stuff he comes with he doesn't come with a super amount but as you can see it does look quite wonderful now let's go over the uh, the costume so now to go over the vest as you can see it does look pretty cool the first complaint that I'll just start off with is though that these these uh, sides stick out too far they just like pop up and I just have not found a way to keep them down because I'd rather just have them down like this and I just haven't figured it out so if you guys have any tips let me know but uh but that is a uh, you know it's an annoyance it's nothing horrible but it's just not fun but just as far as the vest and everything sculpted well and you got some nice detail in there uh, one thing I will say is the way that mine was packaged this this little uh, loop was like packaged like this in package so now it does have a little bend to it I've been trying to fix it so that's just something that's with me so it's not a big problem I wouldn't worry about it but that's just a, a personal uh, figure problem but overall it does look nice you got the nice belt I love the way that it's attached like in four different places really cool the one thing I will say is the vest I've seen pictures of people comparing the vest to the movie and it is not quite accurate as far as the plating and everything but overall I think that it's really great I don't see a big problem with it at all I wouldn't have noticed it if those people didn't like actually post those pictures on Google and stuff so I don't really mind it but you know for people that are just absolute it has to be 100% perfect it might not be fantastic but overall I don't think that it's a problem the silver bits do have some wear and tear which is really nice like they've got a little mud and uh, scrapes on them which is cool and the little piece right there going up to like the arm is very nice nicely done in the back you get tons of detail with all the straps and the strings and the gadgets and gears and all this kind of stuff this of course uh, uh, this little um, piece that you can uh, you can remove and this is how you remove of, the, of course the the whole uh, body and the, the whole vest so you can put on the shirt and stuff which I'll show you how to do but overall it's pretty cool and um, you know getting getting them out is extremely easy putting it back in is a little bit hard you just need some patience and some tweezers and you should be good and it'll just take you maybe 10 minutes but uh, but I, I don't recommend it if you just want to see him with the shirt for a quick second then put it back it's probably not worth it but if you actually just you're considering having him having him wear the shirt or you want to do a review like me and you want to have the shirt showing it's definitely worth it to take it out it's not a huge problem but it might just be a little frustrating putting it back on nothing too extreme though I saw a video where somebody was really hating on that it's not as bad as he makes it sound uh, but you know it's it's still not a picnic either but overall extremely nice and then of course you do see him with the gauntlet on looks very cool this is the way that I I keep them, you know, without the uh, gauntlet on the other side. Now let's go down to the pants. The pants are extremely nice looking. I mean, they're very militaristic pants, and overall, they're done really well with the uh, the pockets and everything. The knee pads are up a little high. I've heard people have been complaining about that. Not a huge problem whatsoever. They look great, and I really didn't. didn't uh, didn't notice it at all so I don't mind it whatsoever but there you go you do have the boots the boots are really nice really love it see if we can uh, get to focus but uh, but there you go so the boots are really nice with some good detail in there well done 
and uh, nothing more I could ask for and even the way the pants go into the boots is extremely cool as well so overall the costume is great no problems there let's put him in some other clothing so of course he does come with a separate shirt this is what he wore in the end battle scene with uh, Batman pretty much the only time we saw him wear it uh, you can see the little collar piece when he's wearing his jacket sometimes but other than that this is definitely the uh, end battle scene uh, outfit that he wears so as you can see I do think that it looks very cool really do love it. it it looks a lot better than just having it without uh without the shirt or anything and just having the vest i'm not a big fan of that look this with the shirt and then the vest on top of it looks awesome really do like it and uh i, I it it makes him look tougher because of course it's not it's not so uh form fitting so it does uh, make him look a little bit buffier uh you know beefier and buff and uh it looks a lot better i do really like how it lays on his uh, hands and everything and um of course you can have the gauntlet on while he's wearing it and it's extremely stretchy so I mean you have no problem putting this thing on no problem taking it off no problem posing him in this it does not limit articulation at all zero limiting articulation which is very nice and I really do like that I'm just so you can see it from the back of course it is very cool and um, I really do love it I'm I'm almost tempted to leave him like this on the shelf, but he looks so awesome in the coat that I'm just not going to do that. But this is super awesome, and definitely if you if you're on the fence and thinking that this might be really cool and you might kind of want to leave him like that, then when you get him on, you won't be disappointed in my in my view. I was quite impressed, and I thought that it was going to be pretty good anyway. So yeah, so really happy with it. it looks awesome. And so of course Bane comes with his signature uh, jacket and of course uh, the person who designed this when they were going back and trying to figure out a design for it uh, they were trying to go for a very dictator militaristic uh, kind of look and that's what this is based off this is like a kind of like a Russian general kind of jacket or something like that it's it's based off of that so it's to make him look uh, very uh, dictatorish and it certainly does this is uh, in my opinion this is the best look for Bane uh, this is how I leave him on the shelf and this is how I think most people will leave him on the shelf um, I think that this is by far the best look actually but I do really like him with the t-shirt on and even just the vest does look pretty alright so I'm um, so just to go over the jacket very nice very leather like and it is just extremely well tailored it does look incredibly authentic which is uh, quite impressive I really do like it all the hinges and uh, and buttons and everything and inside is pretty good I'll show you that in a second but the stitching work is just done really well and the way that it all folds looks incredibly uh, real which is in just really nice on um, these just to, to have on the back they are on buttons so you can just unbutton them if you want but I did see a review where somebody accidentally broke that and then just couldn't get it back on so the only way they had to do was glue it so uh so don't recommend taking off the button but I, I mean it is an option if you really wanted to and it does have like little pouches like down here and stuff and even on the sleeves I really like the way that the uh, the uh, the hands go in the sleeves especially this side where his hands like almost all in the sleeve that looks really awesome and just overall an incredibly uh, well designed uh, jacket here's the inside but uh let me take it off so I can, you can guys get a better look of the inside of the jacket so overall, I think this Bane is extremely nice. Uh, he comes with a lot of clothing. I would have liked to see the kind of rain jacket that he has in some of the scenes, like when he walks out, when Catwoman and Bane were, or Catwoman and Batman were uh, fighting the thugs, or you know when he was at the stock exchange and he did have a vest during that, but he was wearing that coat underneath it. I would have loved to see that. They didn't include it though. I can't really blame them because you do have a bunch of other options to dress him, so I don't really mind it too much. Uh, but I do think that he is under accessorized. He could have had a detonator, um, a shotgun from the end of the movie, a pistol that he used to kill his own person. There's just so many things that he could have come with. A Harvey Dent picture. That was a no-brainer. I would have really expected them to do that. I mean, that's just printing. Uh, but what is nice is that's an easy enough accessory that you could make that yourself in a second. So it's not a huge problem, but it would have been really nice. There's just a lot that he could have come with that he didn't, which 
which which is a bummer. There's nothing you can do about it though, and for what you're getting, you know, they don't really overcharge for him too, so they didn't really charge him for, you know, a lot of accessories. He, he comes with a few but nice accessories, and that's what you get charged, so that is, uh, that's decent and that's fair, so don't mind that at all. But the Bane figure himself is extremely cool, really love it, lots of different options in the way that you can have him look. I think the, the, uh, the jacket, the coat here looks incredible. I'm keeping him like this with the open hands. This is how I keep him on his shelf, and this just looks awesome. Pretty great, and uh, a fantastic figure. Highly recommended for big Batman fans. A must-have for big Batman fans. And uh, highly recommended just to uh, collectors of Hot Toys, because it's a really cool character and piece. So overall, there you go.